Hi everyone and welcome back to Italy. I am Danilo Romolini and today we are back onto the central region of Umbria, well known for its countryside, gorgeous views and for its spirituality. We are here today to tour together a beautiful, typical country house. It has been fully restored. Are you ready to see it? Come with me. We are located right in the border between Tuscany and Umbria. Monte Santa Maria Tiberina is 20 minutes away. Umbertide and Città di Castello are about 50 minutes away. Cortona, the Trasimeno Lake and Perugia just under an hour away. In regards to airports, the Perugia airport is 40 minutes away and Florence just under two hours away. This beautiful property was purchased by the current owners in 2010. A few years later, in 2011, it has been fully restored. They chose this location because it is a bit elevated with a beautiful view at the same time, it is not too high up on the hill, so the road to reach this property is not a white road. In fact, the property can be reached with any car. Initially, the property seemed to be a watchtower dating back to the 1200s. In fact, we can notice, if you look closely, on that corner of this country home, the stones which clearly look older than all of the other stones. Over the centuries then the property has been modified and expanded and in 1597 it seems to be passed onto the hands of some farmers which turned this property into a farmer's home. So with the animals on the ground floors and the living spaces upstairs. In fact later on when we go inside I will show you where there was the kitchen in the past there is this beautiful stone fireplace which says that date. The property externally is made up of about 5,300 square meters, which means it is about 1.3 acres of space outdoor. It is made up of these two country homes. The main one and larger one is made up of two separate units with independent access, whilst the smaller country home over there is an independent unit with, of course, its own privacy and is perfect for guests or rentals. It gets rented every year for about 2,200 euro a week. As we enter the entrance gate over here, we access this really large parking area that can host several cars. Right in front of both homes, we find this fantastic swimming pool. It is 16 by 5 meters and it has a depth that ranges from 1.2 until 1.8 meters, completely covered with this splendid mosaic. And it is on a base completely made out of cement, so it's very solid. All around, we find this beautiful terracotta paved sunbathing area, perfect to enjoy the sun, enjoy this view, or simply enjoy your time with friends during a summer party. One thing I wanted to show you is this beautiful original well of the property. It is 72 meters deep and the water from the irrigation and for the swimming pool comes from here whilst all of the water for the two homes comes from the mains water. In terms of gas, the gas comes from the gas tank, which gets refilled every approximately nine months. Let's start with the larger country house of the property. This kind of property usually was used in the past by farmers. On the ground level, they used to keep animals, whilst they used to live on the upper levels. In fact, all of the upper levels usually are accessed through an external staircase. 
On this level, as we walk inside, we notice these beautiful, typical Italian finishes like the terracotta, both on the floor, but also on the ceilings. All of these homes are heated with radiators. They are cooled with air conditioned. And also, in this case, there is also a beautiful little stove. In terms of layout, this floor of the property can be accessed through two accesses on the ground level that lead outdoor. If we pass through this door, we find ourselves in what is the living area and sitting area. It is full of light, thanks to all of these windows overlooking onto the valley. On this side, we have the access to one of the two bedrooms of this unit. It is beautiful, nice and spacious, and it has its own ensuite bathroom with travertino finishes. In the living spaces, passing through this beautiful arch, we get into the kitchen section. Here we find this large dining table. On that side, there is the access onto a very useful pantry room. Over here, we have this kitchen, which has never been used by the owners because they live upstairs, so it is brand new. On this side, there is the second access I told you about, which leads straight outside. Whilst over there, let's have a look at the bedroom. This is the second bedroom of this unit. As you cross the door, you can find the bathroom over here. Through this door, there is a laundry. In fact, by closing this door, you can give privacy to the bedroom, but still use these other two little rooms from the living spaces. Over here, we get to the bedroom, which has as well its own independent access. And on this side, it has the beautiful ensuite bathroom. Let's now have a look at the second unit of the larger country house. It can be accessed through two separate accesses through the outdoor staircases. From this first access, we notice this large entrance room, which leads also upstairs to the bedrooms. But first, let's see the living spaces on this floor. This is actually my favorite unit, I love it. It is full of charm and it is actually where the owners live. Here we can notice how there is also terracotta but it has this different pattern and different shape which I find beautiful. Right here we also find these gorgeous wooden beams, all antique. And if you have a look at the stone fireplace over here, as I mentioned earlier, it says 1597. Uh, so this is original of the country house even before it was restored. All of this floor is full of natural light thanks to all of these windows all around. By the entrance door we have another door which leads at first to a little washroom perfect for all of the living spaces. And right next, there is the master bedroom with its larger ensuite bathroom. Right by the living area, we access onto the kitchen. It is so spacious, really large and full of light. I love how these two windows overlook this inspiring countryside. The kitchen is really large and really spacious. On this side, this door opens into a useful storage space. In the middle, we have this table for dining, which was actually uh, restored. In the past, it was used to keep animals. In fact, this holds where to tie the animals. We also have a stove, and over here, we get onto the terrace.
We are now on the last level of the largest country house. Up here we find three of the bedrooms. They are beautiful, fully restored, and each one has its ensuite bathroom. This is one of the larger bedrooms and on all of them we can notice these gorgeous wooden beams on the ceiling. They are not original from the home, but they are 400 years old. They were added afterwards during the restoration. Have a look at them, they have a gorgeous texture. The hallway keeps going and we find the other two bedrooms. This one on my right is a little bit smaller with single beds, whilst the other one on my left is a double bed, it's very large, and it has of course its ensuite bathroom. Let's now have a look at the second, smaller, but still really nice country house of the property. It is perfect for guests or for rentals. Let's go inside. As we walk inside, we realize how it is very cozy and it has very similar finishes as the previous country home, with terracotta on the floor and the ceiling, air conditioned and radiators. On this side, through this arch, we pass onto the kitchen space, which is very similar as the other one, and everything is immaculate, perfect condition. This floor has access through this door over there and window. The main door, and let me show you on the other side, we have the living space. By the entrance, under the stairs, we have access to a very useful laundry area. Over here, there is a service bathroom with travertino finishes and perfect for the living areas. Over here we have the sitting room, as well, full of light and with its own stove. And over here the access onto the pergola. I love this corner of the house. It is really cozy and has so much privacy. Over there we have views onto the swimming pool, the countryside, this pergola shelters it and creates some shade for the warmer days, perfect for al fresco dining. On the first floor of the country house is where we find the bedrooms. They are two. Let's start from the first one over here. It has windows on two sides that give so much natural light. Over there we see the air condition and on this side we access onto the ensuite bathroom. The second bedroom is just as cozy and homey. It is on the opposite side of the country house. It is laid out very similarly with the ensuite bathroom over there, windows on two sides and I love these views out of the window. We've now reached the end of today's property tour. I think this home is perfect for somebody that loves Italy its green, lush countryside and would love to own a home with maybe a guest house perfect for your friends or your relatives or as well to be rented out. Let me know in the comment section what you think and if you liked it and please before I leave you subscribe to our channel for new beautiful homes every week. I will see you soon, ciao!